Good morning. Day three of our eight night trip into Woodland Caribou Provincial Park. And we are getting ready for a day trip. We're on Haven Lake right now. Um, in the last video, I probably left off with a uh, forest fire talk. Um, and so what happened from there is that we did a little bit of uh, a canoe around the lake and triangulated the position of that fire and it looked like it was a few kilometers out. Anyway, as of this morning, the uh, fire and smoke are nowhere to be seen. There was a lot of plane activity last night and I think that they came in and bombed it with water, of course water bombers and we'll keep our eye to the north and see if there's any flare-ups but right now it appears that there are no fires nearby you can't smell them or anything like that so we're just getting ready to depart we are on a day trip from Haven Lake to Adventure Lake it is a lake trout lake and uh, we're gonna catch some lake trout so stay tuned we're gonna do some cooking some catching, some canoeing, some eating, and then we'll come back here to our base camp on Haven Lake. And from there, we'll be traveling tomorrow um, up into some other lakes heading north. So that's the same horizon that had all that smoke yesterday, just to give you a look at the difference. Pretty clear today. That's how quickly things can change. We'll keep an eye on it. Alright, fish on! I had to cast up. Going so fast I cast it this way and then let it drop. That seemed to work. Hard to get down to the bottom on this. Look <laughs> how fast we're going just with the wind. Yeah. So the uh, conditions are ridiculously difficult. Oh, look at the little guy. A laker. A laker. That's a good eater too, though. Jerry's hooked up. Feels decent. It's hard to tell when you've got so much line out though, eh? <laughs> well, I'm mean, gonna panic when they get to the boat too. Oh, it's a decent fish. Nice laker. Trout. Nope, bike. I just saw the speckles. Well, you do have the pike lure on. Nope. On, oh, you switched it? Yeah. Just the pike, the pike king. Maybe. It's uh, we've got a different Williams on than what you've got. There it is. Now you got to decide if you're going to eat it or let it go. Oh, we'll let it go. Yeah. Yeah, we're here for trout, right? All right. We can catch uh, pike on other days. So we'll uh, slime the boat up a little bit and uh, try and. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> like the pike master he is. All right. It's got a trout. We don't want garbage. No, you can eat pike. Eat a pike. We ate 17 on our first season of the Wilderness Living Challenge. Yeah, we can eat pike anytime. So that's why we want to focus on trout. That's the thing for us, right? But for people who want to catch pike, like there's some really good pike fishing to be had. Here's on again, another pike. Hmm. <laughs> Hopefully not. We got the jigs on now. Spoons, we've got too much uh, 
too much drift. Yeah, too much wind. So the spoons are riding a little high. So now we switched up the jigs. We're in a little shallow bay, so it could be a pike. Just as easily as it could be a laker. Obviously hoping for a lake trout. You got the net there, Jer? Yeah. That's it. Laker. Lazy Laker. Lazy Laker. Oh, hey, we're eating Laker. Hey. Woo. Nice oh. job. See how lately it's hooked in the roof there? Yeah. Yeah, so make note of that. No, he's hooked on the bottom. Oh, it's the bottom. Bottom oh, hook. That's better, better than the top. So I'm switching to white. I got black yeah. on. That's a white tube jig. Well done. Yeah, that's super exciting. We can uh, maybe go back and drift that same drift again. Hang on tight, that's lunch. Yeah. <laughs> nice job. Yeah. That's a good sized eater. That's a perfect eater. Yeah, three more of those. Right. Feels like a branch. No, it's got a little bit full. Got the net there. Here. tried casting ahead and letting it sink. It was the first first cast ahead. And as soon as we kind of drifted up to where the lure was, it bites right away. And then a fish. Laker. Another Laker. Two in the boat. Nice, good work. Beauty. This is the pre-mixed cornbread. This is all the dry ingredients here. Cornbread, corn, uh, flour, and a little bit of salt, a little bit of baking powder, and a little bit of baking soda. So we're going to put that in here. To that, we'll add a cup and a half of water and some butter. is some hot butter we'll probably just squeeze that out oh yeah there we go and there's the berries 
raspberries, blueberries, and some fireweed flowers. There were some other berries, there were bunch berries, and um, the currants up the trail a bit, but I got lazy about hiking all the way back on the portage. this at the back of the fire to bake between the fire and the rock. So the cornbread's there, and the bigger of the two lake trout that I caught today is here. We've got it all skewered up, and it's just baking over these coals. We're cooking our fish and we're trying to figure out if that on the horizon there is the smoke from that fire. It doesn't seem like it would be a, um, a cloud. If you look around, there's hardly a cloud in the sky except for some of these big wispy ones up here. And if you look, the wind is blowing that way. So you see that big white cauliflower. And if you look over here, there's all drifts of dirty smoke. So that is probably that's probably that forest fire. So we'll have to wait till we get back to our camp and get a closer look at what's going on. So this is um, where we saw a little black bear. I don't have it on my camera, but if you pop over to Wooded Beardsman's channel, you'll probably see some good footage there. A little curious black bear, we probably startled him out of the berry patch. Um, but the thing is, once you see one, Everything looks like a black bear. That black stump up there. That dark shadow behind the tree. Is it a bear? What about that dark lump over there? Not a bear. Is that a bear? No, that's a hawk. Here's a little story about that hawk. So right while we were watching that little bear go over the hill, there was a kestrel over here, a little kestrel, and it was making a huge racket, and it was swooping something, swooping and diving. And so, of course, because we were watching one bear on one side of us, I thought, well, maybe there's a bear over there, because the birds tell you things, right? Swooping and diving, making a big racket. Well, it was swooping and diving on that hawk. That hawk keeps coming back to perch in this same spot. I've seen him a few times and I can only assume it's like a favorite hunting spot for it. Almost lunchtime guys. Oh look at that. That's half lunch right there. Cool. All right, so a quick wrap to this adventure. You want to see? We're digging into this cornbread. What do you think of the cornbread? Oh, you're you, asking me? Yeah. <laughs> I guess yeah, you are. What, asking what do you guys think too? <laughs> I guess you could ask your audience. Too. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. It's perfectly cooked, actually. Yeah. Surprisingly, it's it's difficult to do. Um. You should let people know that you flipped it over, which is yeah. probably the answer. Yeah. That, that one has a buckle, so you can buckle it down and then turn it upside down to cook the top because the top was a little bit mushy. But the alternative, what you put like coals on top, right? Coals on top to help because so what happened was the bottom was cooked, but the top was still pretty moist and gooey. 
So yeah, we just flipped it over and left it for a few more minutes and then it was pretty much done perfect. Um, the fish also finished off perfectly. So while I'm yakking, Woodbeer is getting a lot of it down. Do you want some? Yeah, uh, not right now. I'll be okay. Grab some in a minute. So that we just kept rotating it front and back over the fire and uh, just checked it periodically. And it is basically perfectly cooked right now. Just bordering on undercooked, I would say, for parts of it. And uh, that's a fantastic fish. Maybe not the most uh, efficient way to cook a fish. No. But it was really fun to do. Um, the cornbread too, like the cornbread you saw me put in my dry ingredients, it's just a little powder. It doesn't weigh a lot. Um, but, you know, once you add some berries and some water, we ended up with... How big is this pot? A quart? Two, quart and a half? Two liters? Almost two. It's 1.7 or, or 9 or something. Yeah, and it's almost full of cornbread. So we probably will end up packing some of that cornbread back with us. Because um, that's a lot of cornbread to eat before doing a couple of portages. It's a lot of fish too. Yeah. So if I didn't mention it earlier, we're in Woodland Caribou Provincial Park. Uh, we're on a fly-in fishing adventure and i'm excited because there are also lots of wild berries in season oh the fish took a tumble <laughs> um, so more details in the description more videos preceding this one more videos to follow <laughs> you can check out some of them on uh, the wooded beardsman channel as well but don't subscribe he doesn't care <laughs> i don't care if you subscribe <laughs>